most wonderful time of the year. And with one month to go in 2020, I think all of us can say, this really is the best time of this year. <laughs> I mean, it's almost done. But we still have Christmas ahead of us, and maybe this year more than ever, we're all looking forward to the things that Christmas has always promised. Hope for the future, peace to all men, joy to the whole world, and love for everyone. Isn't that what you think of when you think of Christmas? Well, <laughs> some of you do. But for most of us, it's more complicated than that. Because what's happening oftentimes at Christmas and what gets exaggerated and focused on at Christmas is problems we can't solve and people we can't control and expectations we can't meet. And the truth is, if I have the courage to see it, I'm often the problem I can't solve. I'm the person I can't seem to control. And I'm the person often setting expectations that other people can't meet. Christmas is the most wonderful time of the year, not because of what is happening, because of what happened. John writes to us so that even when it's complicated and things are tough, we would understand. I mean, John wants us to know that no matter what happens in this life, that no matter what we face in this life, and no matter how deep the heartache, and no matter how extreme the fear, and no matter how deep the depression, there is a light that shines in the darkness and there is no amount of darkness and no type of darkness that can put it out. So there is always hope. There is always a reason to believe. There is a God who hears our prayers. There is a reason to wake up every single day and take the next step because what makes this the most, most wonderful time of the year is not necessarily what is happening, but what happened when our Father in heaven came into this world to invite us to be part of his kingdom here and now.